Oh, hey, sorry. I, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I just checked the law of talking about sports on social media, and it turns out, if I want to continue talking about sports on social media, I have to post a video of my mock draft, or else I'm, I'm no longer allowed to talk about sports. So I'm sorry, guys, you're going to have to put up with one more mock draft from some freaking neck-bearded loser that doesn't know what the frick he's talking about, and he doesn't know anything about... I'd say 95% of these freaking draft picks, but let's, let's act like my opinion matters anyway. Let's just get into it. It's going to be a long one, so let's just freaking get into it. Um, hopefully Trevor Lawrence doesn't get taken right... Frick! I wanted him! Anyways. <laughs> but uh, let's just see how this uh, just draft board fizzles out let's stop at the top 10 and work from there but a guy we're really looking forward to the only guy i'm really looking to trade up for is patrick Sertain. if he really plummets into the packers realm of possibility into the high teens early 20s maybe we'll make a move for him and trade up for patrick Sertain because i think he's going to be one of the best players in this draft and i think he would really help out this packers team but other than that we're not going to trade up we're just going to kind of let things happen <coughs> realistically um, we're gonna just, okay, there goes Sertain, but realistically, we're looking at Tevin Jenkins, which is an offensive tackle from Oklahoma State. I don't see any team taking him before us. Oh my god! Did the Bears just take Mac Jones? Oh my god, that is hilarious! I want that to happen so bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, if Mac Jones turns out to be a stud and the Bears take him, all right, what am I talking about? That's not happening. Let's continue. Oh, my God. Woo! That was hilarious. Najee Harris, another running back for the freaking for the freaking Buccaneers here. Caleb Farley goes right before us. He would have been interesting to kind of see. But the, the Saints are offering us this trash. We're not interested in that. Buffalo, on the other hand, is offering us a second-round pick for next year just to move up one pick and along with pick 92. If they can just give us a third-rounder... Without us taking our third round pick, I'd be interested. And they accepted it. Alright, so we just got a free third round pick to move down one spot. Hopefully they don't take our guy. And they don't. Alright, so we're probably going to take Tevin Jenkins here unless we get another ridiculous trade offer like that. So we basically just got a free third round pick for next year from the Bills. Which is probably going to be a late round pick. They're a good team. But we just got a free third round pick. And we're still gonna get our guy in Tevin Jenkins. That's that's beautiful. But we're we're gonna we're gonna stick with Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State. I think that's a really solid pick at 30. I think he can really help us out while Bakhtiari is still recovering and in the long run when uh, we're gonna need some help at offensive line for the last Aaron Rodgers years and possibly the Jordan Love years. So who are we looking at for pick 62 here for the Packers? We're kind of looking maybe uh, cornerback. Uh, maybe we can get Asante Samuel Jr. Uh, we're looking at Elijah Moore from Mississippi or Rondale Moore from Purdue. So those are our, our, our three guys we're really looking for here. So we're gonna let this go to a, to 50 before we even think about trading up. I'm really I'm really liking Rondale Moore from Purdue. I think he's gonna be really good in the NFL. I think he would be a very good weapon for Aaron Rodgers to have. Um, so we're 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 gonna trust that he falls to us, and we're we're, we're gonna have a good time throwing to Rondale Moore in the future. And there goes Amari Rondale. No! Giants, what are you doing? You don't pick smartly. What are you doing? Um, okay, so I'm still seeing Diami Brown. Is that how you say it? From North Carolina. I actually watched a few highlights from him. He looks pretty promising as well. So we still have him to fall back on, but he's a little bit of a reach at 62. Um, but, I mean, man, he's probably going to go pretty early in the third round if we don't take him. All right, so what do we got here? So we, obviously we took Tevin Jenkins with our first pick. We were looking for corner or receiver really here, or a defensive tackle, which we have one here from USC. We also have Ronnie Perkins from Oklahoma. Lacks great size for a defensive end, maybe a liability against the run. Okay, so we really want a, a good guy up front that can stop the run. Um, I'll tell you what, this Milton Williams guy is someone I'm pretty interested in. Uh, Diami Brown is someone I th I'm, 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 I'm just going to cross my fingers that he, he does a little fall, and maybe we can trade up for him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take Milton Williams. I really like this pick. I think he can he can really help us stop that run, baby. That's all. It's, that's what it's all about. So we're going to kind of let this go for a little bit. Hopefully our wide receiver doesn't get taken. And, and Las Vegas. I mean, the Raiders are, all, are known for taking wide receivers in the early rounds here. So 
I'm, I'm kind of at the point here where I, I want to make a trade. I, I'd say we give up a fifth and we give up 173. What about that? I mean, they, they're kind of low on picks, so we could even offer them uh, 214. Uh, we'll give them 220. How about this? I, I think this is fair, so let's see if this goes. It's been accepted. All right, so we got we we've got the trade done with Las Vegas, formerly known as the Oakland Raiders. They're known for taking wide receivers in the early rounds of the draft and completely whiffing. So uh, you already know they're going to pass on Diami Brown because he's going to be a stud. Uh, struggles and battles, lacks a true second gear. Um, but this is a guy who I think is really going to be a reliable ca pass catcher, and he's only going to get better as he develops in the NFL. So I think this is going to be a very solid. Uh, Pass catcher for Aaron Rodgers. Not going to be heavy on the drops. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we're going to take our guy, Diami Brown, who took a little nosedive. We got him at 80. I think that's a great pick. We traded some lower-end picks, a fifth, and then two picks. Uh, maybe we gave up too much. Let me know in the comments if we gave up too much. But I'm happy with the pick. And look at that. Look at that. The Raiders took a freaking receiver from Western Michigan at 92. So just goes to show you that we actually played that pretty well. But right now, we got an offensive tackle, we got some help up front on the defense, and we got an, ourselves a weapon for Aaron Rodgers here. So, what are we looking for here? Linebacker, someone we could really look for. We still haven't taken a corner, which is actually a little worrisome here, but I actually like that corner from uh, Michigan. I can't remember his name. Ambry Thomas, sorry. Ambry Thomas is someone I really like, so if he if he could fall to us a little bit, it's, it's kind of where we're at, so... Maybe we can get him. So he's kind of our, our, our target pick for the next uh, next pick. Okay, S Pittsburgh. Known for taking underrated uh, defensive talent here in, at this point in the draft. They've always made some really solid picks. So let's try this. Let's try this. 256, 135, and a 6 for next year to move up a few spots. I think this is going to get accepted. It has. Okay, cool. Cool. So we traded up again. We're making moves, baby. We're making moves, and we are going to take... Ambry Thomas. So we got ourselves a nice little cornerback, a very nice value pick here in the fourth round. So we have 142, 178, and 214. So we got three more picks. I'd like to take a linebacker with this next pick. Uh, maybe another. Oh, we also need a running back. Uh, I really like the running back from Louisville, Javian Hawkins. I really like him. So if we're able to get him late, I would be super excited about that. Tall, somewhat athletic linebacker who plays tough, smart in football. Okay, those are words I like. Those are buzzwords I like. I might just have to take Charles Snowden. This this is the mind of what normal NFL fans are thinking when they do mock drafts. They're looking at these little summaries. They're not going through game film, studying what the frick their footwork looks like, how they think they can translate into the next level. They're just looking baseline stuff while GMs are actually putting in the work and making these freaking putting in so many hours of looking at all these guys. Meanwhile, we're just kind of looking at a few highlights on Twitter and reading some summaries from mock draft websites. And that's why we want these picks. And if we don't get them, then the GM is an idiot and we're geniuses. Sorry, little rant there, but you know what? Charles Snowden. Would love a guy on our team whose last name is Snowden. Cause a little chaos, baby. I like that pick. You know what? Charles Snowden. You guys heard it here first. He's going to be an absolute stud in the NFL. Did we reach for him a little bit? Yeah. But we got a ball player we're happy to have on our team. So that's all that matters, baby. Uh, no, he's going. He's projected to 11, so this is actually interesting. Uh, when's our next pick? Our next pick isn't until 214, so... Do I really want to trade trade up to get him, or do we just get our guy here in the fifth round? Um, you know what? This is this is my video, this is my reality, and, and I'm 100% certain Javian Hawkins is going to be a legit weapon if he's given an opportunity in the NFL. And you know what? The Green Bay Packers are going to give him that freaking opportunity in the NFL because we're we're taking him a little a little, a little earlier than expected boom JV and Hawkins baby you know what I think this is he's only got one year of starting experience but he had a very good year because I remember hearing his name a lot when watching Ohio State games um you know what I think Justin Hilliard's the way to go I think this is another really good value pick I think Ohio State's got a great track record with uh linebackers or am I or am I just making that up to make me sound smart I don't know but you know what? We're going with Justin Hilliard. I'm convinced. All right, so here we are at the recap of all of our picks. So what we got? We got we got an offensive tackle that can start right away, kind of help out for while David Bakhtiari's out. And also, it never hurts to have offensive tackles 
All right? It, it never hurts to have too many of those. You want to protect your quarterback. You want to help your freaking running game. Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State's going to do that for us. Milton Williams, we need to give Kenny Clark some help up front. We need to be able to stop that run. We need to be able to apply some pressure to the quarterback. Milton Williams is going to do that for us. Diami Brown, Packers fans, we've been crying for another re receiver to be on this team. We're going to take one in the third round. It's not going to be in the first or second. So Packers fans are going to freak out for, for the first day and a half of the draft. But it's all good. We got ourselves a really good, really reliable pass catcher in Diami Brown in the third round who is right away going to help make an impact on this team. And he's going to make this Packers offense even more explosive than it already was. Next round, we're going to get Ambry Thomas, a very solid, a very good, a very good value pick here, in my opinion, of my little knowledge that I have. I think he's really going to be a solid pick for the Packers. I think he's going to help out our defense, maybe give Kevin King a little competition. I don't know. But hopefully we get another good cornerback that we don't have another disaster in the 2020 NFC Championship game. Then we got some really nice value picks here in the end, starting, I mean, Charles Snowden from Virginia. I liked what the write-up said about him, the little blip about him being just, he, he's got football, high football IQ, he knows what he's doing, he's got good instincts, he's going to help us out, he's going to be a really good pick that could maybe even start his rookie year, but early on in his career he's going to be a, a good pick. JV and Hawkins, he's a great weapon, I think out of the passing game, just like with Aaron Jones, he's going to kind of be that Jamal Williams, kind of fill that, that need. I don't know if he's going to be as good as a, 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 a blocker as Jamal Williams was, but we'll see. But I think Javian Hawkins is going to be a really good weapon in the NFL. And then we got ourselves with our last pick, Justin Hilliard, who I think can honestly be a starter in the NFL. But overall, I'm very happy about my mock draft, and I uh, hope you guys had a good time. Hope you didn't take this too seriously because I'm an idiot. I don't know anything. I haven't done any research about m many of these guys. They're freaking young, all right? Give them time to develop. Don't call them busts right away. And uh, hopefully the Packers take a quarterback in the first round so we can see Twitter explode again. And uh, yeah, I'm Matt Mamba. I don't know how to close videos. This is my Bob Barker autograph picture.